Okay, so the image you're looking at right now is a poster that was up before uh, Halloween or during Halloween, Be, uh, Beware of Hunger, and it was Trick or Eat. So this was a group, this was a group, it was, uh, they're actually called Slate. Okay, now Slate is a youth center. Uh, they had this indoor Christmas yard sale, and I just thought that it would come to the Colchester Food Bank just to show you some of the donations that came in as a result of uh, Trick or Eat. There's boxes. We get boxes of uh, food donations here. This, part of that as well. Uh, we also have uh, donations that came in. I think Darlene said this came in uh, like yesterday, or just recently anyway. So, um, and of course, the big day, the big day the circle on our, our calendar is November 16th. And that is the big food drive. Uh, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., we're going to pack up everything at Big Dog, and we're going down to uh, Victoria Square, the Information Center. We do it every year, okay? And it's our pleasure to do that um, for the Colchester Food Bank. So now I'm going to turn the camera over to Mary Deatter. Hello, Mary. How are you? How are you? Good. I caught you in the middle of, well, it seems like you're always working. Yeah. <laughs> but Truly. that's a very, very important day. It is. Uh, the six, it tell is. me about, t not just about the day, but tell me about the Colchester Food Bank and why that day and other days like it are so important, Mary. Well, be, well for one thing, Marcy, it's, uh, we certainly have seen a high increase. Uh, this is due to families uh, largely... Um, this time of year, they're usually laid off, mm -hmm. and uh, but we're finding now that some companies are only uh, getting them to uh, uh, go on call. While going on call, they're not able to apply for you the EI or yeah. anything like that. There were some numbers that came out. I think the and they were really disturbing. Oh, like they, they were. They go up. They were. They were our Christmas numbers, mm -hmm. really. And, um, well, just in August alone was um, uh, 983. Well, my land, you, you've been with me many years, mm -hmm. and we always said that was a huge Christmas. Yeah. And I thought, if that's in August, you know, what's going to happen at Christmas time? And I have to tell you, Morrissey, I'm, I'm very proud of the clientele that, that uses the food bank, and, and I, I really wanted to say this, is because they are trying to work with us. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding now that they're coming in, and if they got a bag of potatoes from somewhere, they say, Mary, I don't need that right now. Or it could be sugar or whatever. They tell me ahead of time. Yeah. And so that, that leaves that for somebody else. So it's, you know, sometimes we have the community thinking that maybe they just come in and get their food and go home, and it's nothing like that. We hear the stories, that, and it's a hard time. Indeed. And that big day, uh, that's when we think about the whole year, but that's one big day, November 16th. Yes. Where does all your food come from all the other days of the week, of well, the year? Well, um, I've got to tell you, Colchester County, oh, can we be proud of what them. What a great... Every, you know, all the years that I've been here, once the community knows that the need is there, and of course they know it's there all the time, but mm -hmm. we go high-low all the time. You know, we're down and we're up and we're down. But, you know, any time that we've ever been really down, they will walk hand in hand with us and make sure the food is in here, make sure that people are warm, comfortable. You know, it's just absolutely amazing. It really is. I'm very moved by it. Well, every Maybe year that I come here and I interview you and I see you at the food bank, you, uh, my dear, always have a smile on your face. <laughs> the, the picture of optimism. So how about if we leave this interview on the note that we are going to exceed last year's record oh. and put the Colchester Food Bank in really good shape again. It would be a dream. It really would. I get excited. Look, I'm getting goosebumps now. <laughs> We're going to make it happen. Yes. Yeah. All right. Back to work. For the people. Thanks for your Thank help, you. Mary. Thank you.